I recently did an interview with Desmond Reed, the cartoonist behind the Color Pop Creamies, talking about his upcoming graphic novel. And as part of that, he sent me these mini comics that he's done between 2021 and 2022, just to get a little, become a little more familiar with his work. And I appreciate them. These are all great comics. So I want to take a few minutes just to kind of talk about them and uh, kind of maybe introduce the books and his style and talk about one of these books in particular. So chronologically, Apples was published first, then Memories, and then Trash. So Apples does a great job of introducing the characters of our story. This is a band. And they're, except for one story, they're all one page stories, but they do a nice job of introducing the characters and their personalities because they all have different personalities. One is very happy go lucky, one's a party animal, one is a uh, super optimist, one has a lot of anxieties, and one has a bit of sadness and melancholy, but it's sweet. So, this does a nice job of subtly introducing these characters and their world and their personality traits and but their personality traits you get to know them more uh books are in black and white but i love the color palette they use it has this late 60s vibe and there's so many colors here that this could have gone wrong a lot of different ways but it doesn't it's a really nice use of colors and this really sticks out um, on a shelf now chronologically trash was the most recently printed book this was printed last year this furthers the storylines with these characters and the stories are there's some of their one pagers some are multiple pagers and it just fills in more blanks about them personally their personalities and things that they've gone through um and kind of helps you to get to know them better so it, it's sort of like here you did the initial like one pagers and then you started getting more ambitious doing multiple pagers um same great art um for instance there's a multiple page story and then you have uh henrietta susan who is um has a bit of melancholy and so it just has one thing one page holidays feel weird and she's on a bus stop about to take a trip to um i guess visiting someone for the holidays and there are people that the holidays do feel weird this is um the thing about this is that these characters all have their personality traits and some have the anxieties and some have certain amounts of sadness to them but they're very real i mean i i feel like when i read this i've known someone like all these characters and so it, it but it's very deftly done so these books are great but the next book i really want to talk about is memories which really stands out not only from this collection which is all good but this really stands out this is one of the better comics i've read in the past couple of years memories focuses on the drummer wallace tj and it starts off there in their i guess group van they're on the way to a gig and they're like well so you back there you're back there are you okay are you dead and he's like and and it's like no no he's alive it's just that he drinks a lot so he's just passed out drunk and this one character is thinking like why does he always act like this and that's a segue to the story memories and it talks about shows him in various stages of life as a very young boy as an adult as a teenager as an as an older adult slightly before the events of him becoming a member of this band and the story i'm not going to try i'm not going to give it away but through these different story arcs that take place at different times in his life and there's a nice job of time shifting you find out that he had a very um, traumatic experience as a young boy. Um, you find out that his parents are really like emotionally stunted. Um, you find out that later on 
he gets, as a teenager, he's uh, dealing with uh, significant drug abuse, like opioid ab abuse. Uh, you see that he goes through and tries to clean himself up and uh, shows a relationship that he had. Uh, and it shows all these events and it really gives you a really in-depth view into the character. And then you find out that especially one event that happens, you can see him give up. And now when you see him as this hard drinking party animal, you can kind of see why. And it doesn't do this thing of like trying to explain or apologize why someone has an addiction problem. But in real life, people that have addiction problems a lot of times they've gone through a lot of stuff. Now there are people, and I, and I can speak from personal family history. There are some people that are just predisposed to be, have addictive personalities. That's just my opinion, I'm not a doctor. But there are people that go through stuff and they take one substance or another to cope with it. And sometimes they just can't stay clean or so many events happen that they just kind of give up. Uh, so, because a lot of times you see people with like anxiety or trauma, or you're met people that say they, they don't like Christmas or they don't like the holidays. It's because they had something traumatic or just very sad happen. Um, and this book does a really nice job of giving this character, Wallace TJ, when you see his family life and you see his upbringing, you realize, oh, okay, this is why he's the way he is. But it doesn't hit you over the head. It's very subtle. It has that sense of melancholy and punch in the gut that like a Chris Ware book would have. Um, Noah Van Skyver and Alice Graham are also great at that gut punch thing where some things that hit you and you're like, oh, you know, and, it, and, it, and it's really effective storytelling because you actually feel for the character. So when you start this book, you think, oh, he's just a party animal, you know, just a party animal, likes to get drunk all the time. But then when you read the story, you're like, oh, I know why. And you feel empathy towards them. And I think that is the mark of a great comic. You start off with this character that you really aren't thinking about very much and then you have a tremendous amount of empathy for them and it's interesting that this was the second self-published book that came out but this is just really excellently done it's in a lot of people's hands it could have been very clumsy it could have been um didn't wouldn't have the finesse wouldn't get the time shifting right it reveals enough where you can put two and two together, but it doesn't hit you over the head with everything that happened. It's not exposition-y at all. It uses dialogue to tell the story, dialogue and the actions that you see. Uh, this one, I put, I started reading. I didn't know what to expect and I couldn't put it down. Uh, this is one of the better comic books I have read in years. And I've read a lot of great comic books over the past few years. So. Um, these comics are available, I guess, through Desmond, but also Radiator Comics. And if you're interested in trying any of his work, he does have a graphic novel coming out in April uh, through the Birdcage Bottom Kickstarter. Uh, you, I, I, I've already signed up for that. And But if you want to try something else of his, I would highly recommend Memories. Again, this is one of the best comics I've read in the past couple of years. It just hit me right in the guts, just very um, emotional and powerful, but very skillfully done. Um, and this cover I love, because usually his stuff is very vibrant and, vibrant and nuts, and this is just this beautiful sky blue with the yellow and the red. And it's just very simple, and again, it sticks out. So I would really recommend his work. I think he's a great cartoonist. I um, hope he gets more publicity and uh, more word of mouth going because there's a lot of talent here and it's very skillfully done, especially memories. I can't talk enough about how great this book is. So um, I'm gonna put a link to where you can get his comics and his Kickstarter. 
and I hope you check him out. Um, again, I was very happy. You never know when someone sent you comics if you're going to even like them or if they're going to resonate with you or what you're going to think. And it's all relative because we're all different things we bring into anything we read. But these are great. And I can't say any more plainly than that. So thanks for your time. And since everybody else has marching orders, I'm going to give you marching orders. Don't read more comics. Don't keep reading comics. Read better comics. Thanks.